everybody. Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me and my furry sidekicks. That's Zena. If you're new, why it's the white puppy dog hiding behind me. I'm Laura. We hope you stick around. Hit that subscribe. It really helps me continue to bring you videos like today's. And I have a stitch fix for you today. All right. Um, I think by now everyone is pretty familiar with stitch fix. Style box, five items, keep all, get 25% off, $20 styling fee, unless you do the style pass, which I do, which is a one-time annual fee of $49, I believe it is, and it comes off of anything that you decide to keep. So awesome deal. If you get a chance to grab it, do it. Um, they also have free style now, which means you can just shop. There are styles that are available in your size and just buy them. You get 30 days to... Um, decide if you want to keep them or return them. So uh, you can do freestyle as well. And they do accessories, clothing, as well as shoes with Stitch Fix. I have been doing Stitch Fix for a very long time now. And I, um, it's, it's, it's been quite hit or miss for me. So let's dig into this box and see how today's looks. They do have a preview now, which means that whenever they put together your styles that you will get to preview and pick which ones that you like. Um, if you don't pick five, then your stylist will just fill in with the others and send it to you. You don't get another um, look at them. So uh, the preview is kind of nice and I always ask for it. I'm like, please let me see a preview so we're not wasting our time. So they usually do let me see one. I'm not remembering at the moment, but I, I think I did get one. Here's what I'm seeing. A pretty floral here. It looks like denim. I also have shoes. And you do get an envelope that gives you your pricing sheet, ideas of how to wear your items, as well as notes from your stylist, and then a bag to return anything you don't love and don't want to keep. I wanted to see... My stylist is Victoria, and this is fix number 112. All right, let's see. I'm going to look at shoes first. Let's look at shoes first. All right, so these are by who? These are by Mia. They're the Taylor booty. They have quite the heel. I like the color. The color is pretty. Pointed toe. All right, that's the shoe. The, that, that looks like fun. And let's see what the clothes look like. Now you can see why it now. There he is. <laughs> He's so silly. We'll go through my bundle. First up, something from Lost and Wander. Oh, I see the neckline, so it's scary. <laughs> this I won't be able to keep this. Um, the blouse is pretty, but it has a neckline that I can't wear, which they know, so I'm not sure where this came from. Um, but it's and it's elasticy. Maybe by some miracle, it's loose. Um, the color is pretty though. Pretty fall pattern. Almost like a dissy print. Um, but that's pretty elastic at the bottom as well as at the wrist. It has two little buttons here at the neck. And a little keyhole opening. Okay, yeah, that's not going to work, I'm pretty sure. 99.9% .9 sure. Okay, next up is a jacket from Pistola. Cute little field jacket. This one is called the Camillo Cargo Jacket. That's really cute. You guys can see this. I feel like the tags are in the way. So button front, side pockets. Looks like an animal print to me. Has a raw hem at the bottom. Can you see that? That's cute. Then we have a sweater. This is by Lay Serene. This one's polka dot. 
Yeah. I don't know. That one's not really speaking to me, but we'll see what it looks like on. It has kind of a fuller sleeve here. All right, and then we have something by, these are denim by Judy Blue. This is the Caroline Straight Leg. I don't know if I, I feel like if I saw the preview, the only thing I would have picked was that jacket because I don't remember seeing any of these other pieces. So these aren't bad, the straight leg. And that's everything. All right, let's see what Victoria has to say. Happy fix day. Thanks for checking out your preview and leaving some feedback. While I do apologize some of the options weren't right, I was happy to see that the, the leopard print cargo jacket caught your eye. I did jump back in and found some another pair of jeans and shoes that I know you will love the style of better and compare with the jacket. Let's jump on in and check them out. For some fun pattern play, if you are feeling adventurous, there's a light green and black polka, polka dot balloon sleeve sweater that you can throw underneath. Then for bottoms, there's the STS blue. I guess it's STS blue. Sorry, I think I said Judy blue. STS blue high rise straight leg jean. And I know you didn't like the pull-on style in the preview, so made sure to go back to the traditional classic button and zip. How do you feel? Bring it together with the fab Mia booty, and you are set. Enjoy. All right, well, let's try and see what works. I'll be right back. All right, first outfit. I had to try on the blouse so we could get it over with. I only have one of the three buttons buttoned just so it's not too, too tight for me. Um, if I didn't have this neck issue, I would actually really like this blouse. I think it is super pretty. I'm gonna get close. Um, the print is pretty. It does have this like elastic that's just like making my neck want to scream um, because it does go um, up like a mock turtleneck, I guess you could say. But the, the print is very pretty. It does have the smocking here at the wrist, as I mentioned before, as well as at the bottom. Hits right at the waistband, but if you raise your arm, it's going to go up a little bit to be expected. But this is a very pretty blouse. Looks really nice with the denim and the shoes. So this makes for a really nice outfit. The denim fits really well. They're a nice straight leg. Hit right at my ankle. I'm 5'5", five five, um, for reference. The shoes um, are nice. They have a nice heel, they're pointy toe. I don't love this um, plasticky shaft here um, of the shoe, of the boot. I just don't really like it. It feels, I don't know, vinyl-y. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't really like it. Now it's very flexible and feels good on your foot, but I just don't necessarily like the feel of it, and I feel like it's not gonna hold up to time but I could be wrong. Um, and so far it's comfortable, but I'm not sure if it's be comfortable for a long period of time. I'm not really understanding why Stitch Fix keeps sending me these cheapy shoes. Um, and by cheapy, they're, they're $74, but they're a lower end brand because I've actually asked them not to do that anymore. <clears throat> but they, they keep doing it and I'm not sure I understand why because any time that I don't get leather shoes, I end up paying for it. It really, they tend to hurt my feet and I tend to have issues. So I've asked them not to do that anymore, but they haven't really listened to me. So while I don't think there's anything wrong with these shoes, I think they're really good. Um, I just am not sure for me they're going to work out in the long term. So when I do end up wearing my shoes out, I tend to put decent miles on them. It's long distance. When I'm at work, it's a very large building. I'm up, I'm down, walking um, great distances to get to different conference rooms, etc. So it's a lot of distance. And if they aren't really comfortable, um, then I tend to have a lot of issues. The STS Blue Carolina high Caroline High Rise Straight Leg Jean, $64. And then this blouse is the Lost and Wander Flower Power Top. And this is actually navy, not black, um, $88. So let me know what you think. But overall, I think this is a great outfit. I'm just not sure that 
the top or the shoes are really going to work for me. I'm also afraid to get the shoes wet um, for fear that they would start to crinkle and break. Let me know what you think though. And we will do another outfit. Next up, the polka dot sweater. What do you think of this one? I think that this is a very comfy, cozy sweater. However, I do not like the polka dots. <laughs> what do you think? I don't think this um, color is doing a ton for me either. I do like the balloon sleeve and I do like the um, feel of it. This actually feels like a really high quality sweater on. It's very soft on the inside and cozy. I like that I can easily front tuck it, but for some reason this color scheme I don't think is doing a lot for me. Um, and I'm not just, I don't know, I'm just not loving this polka dot for some reason. It looks nice with the denim. Here's what it looks like out. I don't like it out. Um, it just it feels like it cuts right across the middle of me and doesn't give me any shape. This one is called the Lay Serene Pet Petal Balloon Sleeve Sweater in Light Green, $54. So not a bad price. And it feels really nice on. Get closer so you can maybe see this fabric. It really is um, a cozy. And then the last item, and she paired these together for some pattern play, is the Pistola cargo jacket. So we're going to try this one on to finish it up. I feel like I have, I'm on a roller coaster ride with. Um, Stitch Fix. I feel like sometimes I get these really awesome collections and they're listening to me. And then I feel like sometimes they're just not listening to me at all, like the high necks. And I've asked for some different shoes and they just don't hear me. It's not that I'm not willing to try some other shoes that may be, may be fabulous and inexpensive, which is wonderful because we all love a great deal. But I've actually asked for them to send me some of the na more name brand shoes, like Dolce Vita, and they send me the DV8, um, which is their lower brand, and I just, I don't get it, so I'm, I'm kind of confused by all of that. All right, so here's the cargo jacket. It does not have any drawstrings or anything to cinch the waist. It does have pockets on the side. I don't mind this pattern play if I liked the um, pattern. <laughs> right now, it just looks like I have like one dot here in the middle of my chest. <laughs> it looks like a target to me, um, but covers the butt, which is nice. Here's a closer look. This pattern buttons at the wrist, which I would probably cuff a little bit. Does have flat pockets at the top, and those look like they are real. So we cut this a bit. Yeah, I do like the cargo jacket. This is nice. What do you think of this one? Show a little bit more polka dots there. <laughs> This one is called the Pistola Camillo cargo jacket in brown, um, 118. And everything is an extra small. The jeans are a two, and of course the booties are an eight, which is my regular size. All of the items, all five, 398. If I kept it all, I'd get 25% off, 99.50 for a total of 298.50. But um, I do not plan to keep all five. So do you think there are keepers here? And what do you think they are? I, of course, will list everything down below for you um, in case you'd like to request anything from your stylist. If I can link to the item, I will. Sometimes I can. Um, but this, obviously, the blouse is just too high of a neck, but I think it's gorgeous. It's actually a really pretty blouse, but I can't wear it. And then I have the four other items on here. What do you think might be the keeper or keepers? Um, 
the shoes I, I think aren't bad. I'm just a little worried about them considering I'm not sure exactly what this synthetic fabric is here, but I'm afraid it's just not going to hold up to time. And um, the jeans are nice. So they're a really great fit. I like them. So they're a potential. The sweater I'm not loving just due to the pattern. So the jacket would be the other thing. So I'm thinking it's the jeans and the jacket might be the potential keepers here. And the jacket, of course, is the most expensive. It doesn't surprise me at 118. And the jeans were 64, so not bad. All right, please comment down below. Please hit that like if you enjoyed this video. Hope you hang out for the long haul and hit that subscribe so I can keep doing this. If you already have a huge, huge thank you. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.